All right, I found the blue door. Let me show you where it is. <laughs> I ended my last session getting a blue key and I had not even found a blue door yet, so I had no idea where it led. But you remember this waterfall? It's over here to the right. I had never gone this direction. So let's insert this key and see where it leads. There we go. Cavern of the Amniotic Fluid. Well, of course. What, 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 el what, what else? Where else would we be besides the Cavern of the Amniotic Fluid? Um, feels unsafe for me to just drop down. Oh, oh, yeah. Hello. Beware of the water simulation. Its density could drag you into an infinite loop of degradation. <laughs> sure. That's why you drown in this game. Oh, gosh. Hi. Wait, the Impaler? How do you... How do you this game? Ow! Oh, okay, don't do that. Alright. Ah! Hi. Yo! Ah, okay, wait, where's my dodge? There's my dodge. I guess I should have tried to remind myself how to play this game before starting to play it. <laughs> ah, what is this? It's a bat. It's a bad, I mean. Sure, a lot of you guys. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, this game gets more and more combat heavy over time. Oh, some dudes are fishing. They're fishing for rowboats. Hey guys, I think you caught a rowboat. You caught one. Congratulations everybody, you caught a rowboat. Oh, it's the creator, cradling a baby. That's adorable. N nope. <laughs> Thought I could land in a boat. Apparently not. Um, oh, oh, this is a door. Oh, look at this. Okay, there we go. Ah, okay. Oh, wait. So this water I can land in? Make up your mind, game. Wait, what's, what's this? Come back. Source code debug log refreshing sensitive case. An irreparable loss. The pain of absence. A door in the system. A weakness in the code. Come back! What is this like? Is this the part that's about postpartum depression or something? What, what, what's, what's this about? Oh, I have received a orange key. Okay, excellent. I know where the orange key goes. I don't remember where I go. Um, how do I, okay, I'm here, there we are. Wow, that was very hard to land on. Whee! I like these ones that I have to get behind. Oh, gosh, okay. Ah, ah. This is very precarious. Setting off all of the vertigo features in my brain. Oh, right, that's Meteora. Right, right, right. I talked to you. I need to go this way. I need to meditate. Cloudcraft says he's not a huge fan of the uh, CRT effects filter. Yeah, you, I, can't, I can turn it off. Um, I just choose not to because I like it. And also just because, I mean, I don't know. I usually have this vague sense that I want to uh, sort of experience the game as close to the way the developers intended as possible. So if they put this filter in the game by default, unless I've got a real problem with it, I want to try to see, you know, what the game is meant to look like, uh, meant to look like. Now, if it really bothered me, yeah, I would absolutely turn it off. But from because it doesn't bug me that much, I'm, you know, I'm kind of cool with it. I like the way it just adds like weird extra bloom to everything. All right, so let's go 
Where's the place to stand? There, there it is. Let's go here. What is it? Oh, hello. Hello, person. Master Code Shifter, congratulations! You've done it. You've fulfilled all the region's conditions. You must have learned a lot in the Creator's Tears. It's a place of worship and study for programs from the Digital Kingdom. But teachings to one side, you've come to find your animal form. The Stag Master told me all about it. While I compile your animal form, I must entrust you with a mission. There's a stallion portal forming behind my back. You don't have to be very clever to guess him's intentions. He wants to control this region, and if possible, destroy the access totem to the creator's memories. So I suggest we get ahead of things, and you cross the portal and eradicate the stallion. Uh, menace. Alright, the portal is... Jump! Whee! Hello, nice fellow. You seem cool. Blop bloop, what are you doing here? How did you find this portal, blop? Lord Him will be very happy to see that the prey has come looking for its hunter. He'll generously blop reward me when I erase your stinking code. I'm Glaucoma, Stallion General. Prepare to die, blop! Um, hi. Oh, gosh! Oh, ah, okay. Looks like this is the kind of game where I actually have to get out of the way when I- Oh! Block? Oh, he- okay, he's blocking me, huh? Oh, okay, there's crap from the roof. Okay, so I just don't need to even bother attacking him when he's in this zone, huh? Oh! Hello! He just- He just made the ceiling poop on me. Oh, man, do I have to watch this cutscene every time? I mean, I came in here with almost no health. Okay. Okay, good. Good. No cutscene. Wee. Wee. Oh, it looks like... Oh, that's an attack. So maybe... Do I have to hit him? Ow! before he launches the attack? I am doing quite badly. Okay, so I need to figure out how this works. <laughs> So can that weird little guy be killed by normal, ow, by normal attacks? So I have to hit him a certain amount, I guess. Oh gosh, this is gonna go badly for me. So do I have to do a certain amount of damage to him to prevent that attack from happening? Like the mo oh, hello. <laughs> okay, okay. I think I I think I understand what I'm supposed to do. Now I just have to actually execute on it. Okay, so I just dodge him and avoid him during this bit, and I think I actually can. At first, I thought that his little buddy was invincible, but I think he's not. Okay, so maybe that attack, maybe it takes like a full on blast from my shotgun. Like, ah, like the beam. To actually avoid that attack. So maybe I have to if I don't have the beam available, maybe I have to really put the effort into dodging it. Oh wait, I can, I didn't even notice this was here. But I think that's the only time I can damage him. So just dodging it doesn't feel like a good move. Oh gosh, okay. Ow, sheesh. Ow. 
I am not good at this. <laughs> I am so not good at this. Okay, so when those guys, they actually, so they get replaced so quickly. I actually wasn't sure at first if I was making a difference. Ow, nope. I'm just gonna die. This is, this is not going well. Okay, so I tried to do as much dam- oh gosh, okay. So I, tr I need to try to do as much damage to him as I can while he's bursting like that, but before he goes full Tetsuo, I have to get out of the way. This feels like... Like, the thing is, this is why you give enemies health- ow! Health bars. <laughs> because I've got no idea how much, like, progress I'm even making. There. Okay. Oh no! Ah! I don't know why I keep intuiting that I need to dodge from there. I do not need to dodge from there. Yeah. I don't know why I, I just have this little panic moment whenever I get up there that makes me think I have to do some kind of dodge move. I don't. And also, so originally I thought that I needed to use my shotgun attack on him, or or on these guys like that. I think I actually don't. And so I should save it up. I should save the beam up. Ow! Why did I do that? That was dumb. I should... At least it doesn't waste my healing if my heal fails. Ow! All right. So is there something special I'm supposed to do when he turns into normal dude? Ow. Ow, ow sheesh. Ow. What the crap? That was a glut of little dudes. <sighs> wow, okay. Oh, dang it. Uh, oh my gosh, this is a hard battle. So Cloudcraft is uh, helpfully reminding me that because he's spawning more dudes and getting harder, that means I'm making progress. <laughs> I guess that's true. I don't feel like celebrating that, but yeah, you are right. Ow, dang it. So once I've hacked those guys open. Are they still able to damage me by collision? Oh, yikes. I kind of don't want to dodge him at the very edge like that. Yeah, so if I'm doing something else and I don't see that attack coming, I can't, I, I just have to dodge it. I can't, oh gosh, ow, oh, stop. Yeah, so there's a lot of guys where you want to just wait to dodge them at the very end, but not this guy because he bounces back. I only got one little hit on him because he spawns so many dudes. Ah! Oh, sheesh. Okay, I could have actually just avoided him. 
Ugh. Oh, did I do it? Oh, wow, okay, actually did it. Whew, that was nuts. So that was kind of cool. So it was nuts. It was very hard, but it, you notice he didn't actually have a huge health bar. Like, so yeah, so there's different ways you can approach a boss. You can make the boss not that hard to fight, but make it last forever. Or you can make the boss pretty darn hard to fight, but once you get it, it doesn't take that long to defeat him. And they went with the latter option with Glaucoma, which I generally think is the right move. Like, let, you know, let figuring out how to fight the boss be sort of the challenge. But then once you get it, like, you know, don't just drag it on and make the player, um, you know, survive, succeed because of, like, perfection in the face of attrition. That just gets really frustrating. Um, but yeah, that, that felt like it was nicely well balanced, actually. Even though it was hard, I'm pretty satisfied by it. I knew it. I knew it. I could smell glaucoma, that nauseating stallion general. His power could have done a lot of damage to this region. Many thanks, Narita boy. I'm just finishing off compiling your animal form. Hold on. What's this gonna be? Okay, I've got a new techno key. Which represents my animal form, I suppose? Kind of interested in what this is gonna be. Hello. You've done it, Narita boy. You can now give free rein to your animal form and cross the portal of the Forgotten Forest. The Trichroma is strong in you, digital hero. I'm a deer! I'm a deer! Powerful legs and a broad chest. I am very happy to be a deer right now. Have you ever played the game Dear God? Like, D-E-E-R? Wait. Yes. D-E-E-R. I thought I'd said three E's at first. D-E-E-R. G-O-D. It's weird. It's a super weird game. Um, I never understood it, even after playing it for a few hours. But um, it's worth checking out, uh, even just a video, just for the novelty. It's a bizarre, bizarre game. But it feels kind of like this. Running through the wilderness... Gallivanting, if you will. What is this? Oh, this deer's got some momentum. You gotta, like, sort of build up to it. Oh, wait, you're... I just... You were just back there. See how splendid you look? The great stag is your animal form. Ah, it's a pity that we're in a hurry, and I don't have time to trot alongside you through the Forgotten Forest. I shall take you to the waterfalls of the eternal dump... And between the rocks, we shall arrive at Lake Array. Abstract waters that emanate from the underground springs of the Blue House Beam, so they say. Narita boy, it's time for you to abandon your animal form. From this region of bites onward, you can proceed as a hero. So just had me be a deer for a bit, just for no reason. I also feel a little bit like, um, it's like, it's a weird coincidence, Stagmaster, that your challenge turned me into a deer. Like, is this really my animal form, or is this like, what you like to turn people into. Who is that person you're writing? Are you writing the next, the last hero who came through here? I don't know. Once you cross the power-up cave, you'll be very close to the trifurcation, the opening of the three portals. However, you must liberate the creator's memory. It's been in our forest since before tree scripts existed. <laughs> Cloudcraft says, uh, wait, you're saying we don't get a full move set in, uh, in deer form? Zero out of 10. <laughs> What's this gonna be? Is this just a memory? Ah, here we are. Wait, shoulder bash? Oh, to break through digital walls. Use it in the air to cover more distance. You can also use it to scatter some enemies. Schwunk. Okay, so it's like a dodge, only instead of being defensive, it's offensive? Offensive? 
the animation difference is extremely subtle. Ah. There we go. Showing me I, I have to do it in the air to make it through that one. Oh, hello, bash. Oh, okay, well, he wasn't interrupted by that, or at least he got to his attack very quickly. Ah. Does not feel, that enemy did not feel very scattered by this attack. Ooh, but this guy's got a shield. Maybe that's what the shoulder bash is for. Guys who block. Okay, so they introduced blocking with that boss, and now blocking. And I just had to find the right moment when he was vulnerable. But now blocking is a thing that regular enemies do. I already understand that I can't damage an enemy who's blocking from the boss battle, but now they give me an, an ability to defeat blocking that I didn't have in the battle. Let's... Oh, whoa! I can just <laughs> knock down Jesus enemies. Ah. Oh wait, go through enemies, right. Gotta remember to heal. Who else? Now oh, this idiot. Seems like a pretty nice combo. Are these guys faster than usual? So the shoulder bash does a nice job of like grouping enemies up so that when you attack them, ah, you can hit more of them at once. Dang it, I tried to hit the button on time. I think I just, I, <laughs> colliding with the ceiling pops you down faster than you expect. Okay, well, there's definitely no forgetting what RB does after that tunnel. <laughs> so Smoke Rainbow Pony says, I like to think that the stag master is the stag and not the guy on top. That would be great if there's at some point where the two of them separated and the guy with the antlers walks off, and then the stag keeps talking to you as the stag master. I would have, I would have laughed pretty hard at that. Narita boy, I've run all the way from Trifurcation to warn you. Him has sent Black Rainbow, one of his most powerful generals, to destroy the creator's totem and erase the memory within it once and for all. You must stop her, but be careful. She's dangerous. She's not stallion code. Her script was weaved in the dimensions of horror, where him set up his abode after being expelled from the digital kingdom. Once you're done with her, follow that path, and you'll come to the trifurcation, the opening of the three portals. Sweet. All right, Black Rainbow, here we come. You. Shh, don't speak. I can read you, brightness of the trichroma. Shh. I smell you. Condensed purity. Sickening. Listen, do you hear me? Shh, you're going to die. Gee. Okay, what are you what, what are you gonna do now? Ah! Hi! Nope. Ah, okay, well that wasn't good. Hi, can I hit you? Oh no, I can't! Oh gosh! What the Ah no! No! No, no, no! Oh, yeah. Okay, let's, um... Oh! Okay, now you're on the ground, are you? Okay. Oh, shoot! Oh, go, no, no, no! Stop! Stop! Oh, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Okay, okay. Hi. Oh, nope. At least when she's splashing around, she's not a threat, I guess. 
Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stop vacuuming me. Stop it. Stop it. Right now. Okay, so there is a heart. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Stop. Ah, this is very hard to dodge. There's a heart in the bottom corner. I don't know what it is for. Is it somehow a representation of her health? Okay, the shotgun does not seem to be hitting her. I don't know if she's actually immune or if I'm just doing it wrong. Now, I just learned the shoulder bash. Does that do anything? No, ah, oh, she certainly doesn't do anything to, oh, gosh. I don't know what that was. How? No, oh, no, 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 no. Keep away, keep away, keep away, keep away, keep away, keep away. All right. Hi. Ow! Oh, I didn't even. I looked at the heart. Because I was curious. Oh my gosh. I looked at the heart because I was curious what it meant, and then I immediately lost track of what she was doing and just got totally destroyed by her unexpected Roomba mode. Oh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay, so when I dodge forward. That actually hurts me. Oh, stop. Okay, I don't know which way to go to keep from just being hit by that. Wow, she's hard to fight. No, no, oh man. Okay, I just have to run. I can't do anything else. Oh, okay. Oh, no, stop. Oh. Okay, I feel like maybe when she's vulnerable like that after one of those big attacks, I need to actually use my strongest attack on her. Okay, let's heal. So I don't know what this thing is doing. Um, okay. <laughs> so I had just used the attack that I wanted to use against that. So... Oh, she's quick, man. Oh, oh, what? Whoa, did I defeat her? I must have been just right on the edge of defeating her last time. Yeah, what are you? Okay. <laughs> now I'm really scared of, like, stuff popping up to the ground. Thoughtcraft says the ground attack is harder to dodge at the edge of the screen. Just like the, the glaucoma attack. was was. I, there's so many games where hanging out at the edge of the screen is is, like, the solution against bosses. And this game makes it not the case at all. All right, let's open your head. Urgh. Meditate! Meditate! All right. Oh, wait, is that? Yes. So funny, I originally read that as like a joking clapper reference, but apparently it's actually a reference to like maybe Japanese cultural practices? Clapping outside a shrine, is that actually a thing? That's what it seems like the game is saying. I don't know enough to be sure. 
All right, some memories. I remember that day, a day that dawned immersed in happiness. I remember an intense smell of embers. My father and his American partners celebrating the signaling, the signaling, the signing of an important contract in Japan. Wait, is there something over here? Oh. I remember realizing that morning that perfect moments don't last forever. How old were you when you realized this? I think this is the same apartment from before when my mom was holding me off to the right. Uh-oh. It was when I walked into the kitchen looking for some iced tea and saw Mother lying on the floor in a pool of blood and noodles? What? Okay, so I didn't actually read everything. Hold on. This, I skipped. I thought that this was going to be a side, like a little side quest over here. I didn't actually read this one. I remember playing baseball with my grandfather while my grandmother and mother prepared one of my favorite dishes. So, did something violent happen to my mother? Or did she just collapse and like hit her head or something and that's why there's blood on the floor well that certainly makes me curious to find the next memory and figure out what happened the tank says where's the grandmother yeah right I think we've got a prime suspect here All right. Well, I think we've reached a pretty good milestone, and I've been, I've got limited time today, so we're going to be looking for uh, an opportunity to uh, to end the video in just a second. But I'm sorry, this part of the soundtrack is so amazing, we have to sit and enjoy it for a bit. <laughs> Son of Trichoma, you're here at Trichoma? I'm thinking Glaucoma. Son of Trichroma, you're here at last. I've composed many verses with you in mind. You've been my source of inspiration ever since I detected your arrival in the code reviews. I'm the synth sensei, the bard of trifurcation. I play musical code and entertain traveling programs who pass by on their way to the opening of the three portals. So I keep thinking of the opening of the three portals as being an event, but I think it's a location. Uh, they in turn regale me with the tale of their travels, houses in distant regions in the digital kingdom, and I synthesize it all into musical algorithms. So I've become a bard, a narrator, through, who through music shares the experiences of the millions of portal knots who cross my path. When you complete your mission, I will compose the final verse, one that tells of your deeds and victories. I hope that when this is all over, you'll sit down with me and I can play for you while you tell me of your adventures. Together, we'll rejoice in the celebration of harmonic synthesis. But now you must reach the trifurcation, reach trifurcation, and cross the portals of the trichroma beam. It's, so, not only do I have trouble reading sometimes in the morning with large blocks of text, but the language, the, the jargon of this world is so unexpected. None of it, it's like my brain is like usually I think you do a little bit of predictive text in your brain guessing what get, what words are going to say to make it easier to read them but because I can just never guess like what part of speech a word is going to be or like what like I, I the, the language is so unusual like my brain is working overtime trying to keep up with it once you've liberated the creator's memories from the three houses, come back and see me. With your updated code and my techno key compiled with all that new code, I'll give you access to the portal of the capital of the digital kingdom. That sounds great, man. Thanks. Let's, oh, hello, what? What is this? Clap, clap. Narita boy, you've done it. You're here already. You've reached Trifurcation, the opening of the three portals. Below this region, the trichroma beams rise up to the surface collision. 
When I wrote the system architecture, the creator generated some scripts to tie together all the regions of the digital kingdom, a shortcut between houses to navigate more efficiently and dump data in a quicker and simpler way. It's an intuitive code, just how the creator likes them, elegant yet precise. The programs of the Digital Kingdom use it all the time to move around the Digital Kingdom. Now it's your turn. You need to penetrate the portal of the Yellow House Beam. King Numster, the horseman, and his programs need you. They're in danger, as are the creator's memories that are resting there. Go carefully. From this point onward, things are going to get complicated. Him no longer, estimate, uh, no longer underestimates you. You've disposed of several of his generals, and he no longer sees you as a human child dressed in a pixel costume. You're the Chosen One, the bearer of the Techno Sword, son of Trichroma, liberator of the Creator's memories. You are Narita Boy! We'll see each other again in the capital, your final step on the road. When you come see me, your code will be even more powerful. Be strong, Narita Boy, because when you reach the capital, you must confront him. Sweet. There's so many memories left, though. We're going to go through this thing. Hello? Is it... Okay, so there's like three different places to go? Is that is that the deal? Uh, whoa, who, who are you? Wait, is there anything over here? Sometimes this game deceives me by putting things in the corners, but no. Alright, I'm being teleported to a new place. I assume that means the game is going to save... And it will be okay for me to quit. I am always terrified when the game doesn't make it really, really clear that it's okay for me to quit. But I mean, this feels like a major transition to a new place. There's no way they didn't save, right? Right? Right. Okay. So I guess we're done. Um, that was my third session of Naruto Boy. I kind of have no interest in, in stopping. So uh, we're going to keep making these. Uh, but for now, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. You can also... Uh, I'll watch other videos and stuff.